Did you know this sensor is so cheap, it's like for a dollar and spoiler ahead, it's damn accurate. Now what is this sensor? Why is it used? You might be filled with lots of questions and without wasting any further moment, let's start with it. Now these are the points which we are going to follow and timestamps are given below if you need one. Stay tuned till the end because I am going to answer if this sensor has a serious problem. Now for the basics. This is a motion sensor which in itself is self-explanatory, meaning it detects motion in its surroundings. This motion sensor detects with the technology called as the microwave tech. We will discuss more onto it later. Now coming to its pros, it's a highly accurate sensor which I have shown in the further part of the video. It uses microwave technology due to which it is not affected with the heat around as the PIR sensor does. Now if you don't know what a PIR sensor is, then I've already created a video on that. Click on the i button above to watch that. Talking about the cons, only one side of the sensor can detect motion. And a problem as I said, I'll discuss at the end. Price in India. Well, the price may vary from different parts of the world. But here in India, specifically on Amazon right now, it's for 129 rupees. But I have bought it from a local store for about 79 rupees, which is approximately a dollar. I will also link it down in the description if you want. Next up is the physics behind the working of the sensor. Now, I am not a physics professor to explain the phenomenon in detail, but I will try to give a rough small idea. So basically, this sensor works on the principle called as the Doppler effect. Now, what is this Doppler effect? If we Google search this, then we get some interesting results. Well, I'm not going to sit reading this, but instead I'll link a tutorial down in the description if you're interested, check it out. Applications. Now, this little beast has a ton of applications. The most basic superset of all these applications is that you can use it wherever you want to detect motion. For example, it may be bulbs, fans, lights, air conditioners and a whole lot of things. Technical specifications. For the input voltage, we can provide the input from 4 volts to 28 volts. And it's because of the voltage regulator it has in built in the board itself. Look at this. It's a 75331 voltage regulator if we check its documentation we see that it's a 100 milliamps max current delivery sensor with a very high input voltage capacity so it's a nice thing that we are not restricted to the three volts as in some other esps in the market as far as the current consumption goes it's fairly decent but it's still far more than a pr motion sensor now turn for the pinouts. Well, these are fairly simple to understand as their literal meaning are in their names. This first pin is the 3V3 pin, which means that with this pin, you can get a constant 100 milliamps 3 volt supply if you have any such device in a pair. Second is the ground pin. Third is the out, which is a digital output pin, which is high when it detects motion and is low when it's not. Vin is the voltage input pin in which, as we discussed earlier, we can input from 4 volts to 28 volts. And lastly is the CDS pin, which is an LDR pin where you can connect an LDR to this pin and ground, which with this you can get this sensor to work only in nights or in other words, this will only work when the LDR has no light supply. Now if you still don't understand what an LDR is, then click on the i button above and watch the video for that. Connections without using an Arduino Well, these are the most simplest connections depicting I could ever make. So even if you are a very noob in this branch, you can understand this very easily. So just pause the screen and take the screenshot if you want. Next up is the connections with using an Arduino. These connections are way more simpler and just take a screenshot or pause the screen to get the diagram. After connecting the connections as shown, then plug your Arduino to a computer and then follow the coding steps. Now let me explain this code in a zest. In the word setup, we have set the serial data transfer to port 9600. Then 
and the pin mode we have set our sensor pin to input. Now in the looping of the microcontroller we are first reading the pin and then setting the read to sensor read variable. Then lastly we are checking if the sensor read variable is high. Then we give serial output in other words we print onto the screen as motion detected else we print motion not detected. Then we have a delay of about 100 milliseconds and we repeat the following looping statements or steps again and again. Don't worry I have this code in the description so go ahead and download it. Accuracy This sensor is quite accurate as compared to the PIR sensor and other motion sensors as well. But there is a catch, I don't know if it's just with me but the sensor that I have at night behaves abnormally and might be the issue is just with me or my sensor but I just wanted to let you know and if you have any suggestions or you have faced the same issue then share them with us and comment them down in comment section and as usual thanks for watching and I keep uploading such awesome content so subscribe if you don't want to miss anything.